To understand the biblical view of evil and suffering, we must first consider an apparent contradiction in five core beliefs of Judeo-Christian theology. God exists. God is all good. God is all knowing. God is all powerful. And there is evil in the world. It appears that there's a conflict between uh, God's goodness and God's power. If he was good, he'd want to get rid of all evil in the world. And if he was powerful, he'd be able to. But evil exists, and therefore, he's either not good or he's not powerful. There's a lot of confusion about what it means to say God is all powerful. Many people think that means God can do anything. But the Bible is very clear that there are a lot of things God can't do. For example, the Bible teaches that God cannot swear by a name greater than himself. The Bible teaches that God cannot lie. It isn't that God just chooses not to lie, it's that he can't lie. C.S. Lewis once said, can a mortal ask questions that God finds unanswerable? And he said, yeah, quite easily. Um, is yellow square or round? And how many hours are there in a mile? And uh, if you extend that a bit, yes, God can't make a square circle. So there are all sorts of things that God can't do because they'd be illogical or nonsensical. So when we talk about God being omnipotent, what we mean is God can do anything power can do but we don't mean God can violate the laws of logic and do something contradictory. Mm -hmm.